Hello and welcome back. Right now we're going to do a mission called Trouble Brewing. Here's my new armor and I made a few new weapons as well. I gave Kate some leather armor and I modified it. I wanted her to keep on wearing her corset. It looks rather cool. Okay, we'll head over here right now. Harper Master Hotel. But my new gun is really incredible. It's a handgun. But you'll find out what it does in just a moment. I like Kate a lot. I'm going to get to know her a little bit better, I'm sure. I mean, she does like me after I begin to lockpick into all of that. Did you hear that? Okay. Oh, friends already. Well, my handgun is right here. And that is why I like it. It fires quickly. Oh, good shot. And they're all dead now. Okay, give me your loot. Even your loot. I could go in there, but I'll do that later. Not right now. Might need to patch up in a moment. Oh, I blew you up. That is correct, I can blow your mind. Okay, reload. Apparently, you can only hold 999 bullets, and I have over 1,000 for my current gun. I haven't used a handgun for a long time. That is why I have so many bullets for it. Uh-oh. Hold on. We've got another location to handle right over here. Oh, I didn't hit you. My bad. Now I've got you. Catches people on fire and all that. I love it. Alright, one turret down. There goes number two. Oh, I'm trying to get it. Now I've got to reload. I modified a laser rifle into a sniper rifle. And the recoil is actually not too bad. And here's my Chinese officer blade, which I like. I'll cut him. Ooh, no head. <laughs> you hit Kate, I cut off your head. I guarantee it. Wait, where are you going? Anyway, I'm gonna loot over here. I gave her a combat shotgun. Quite appropriate, I mean, that does work out for her quite well. Hi! <laughs> Idiot. Okay, we're about done here, aren't we? Wait, there's one more. Got him too. Yeah, that is why I like to modify all of my equipment on my own time. It takes me a long time to really gauge what I want to do. But when I do it, it turns out quite well. Okay, I'll take all of that. Ammo is always good for me. Another one. Oh, hi. I don't know why I'm fighting you. Man, all of you live together? What a bad idea. Anyway, I'm heading into the Shamrick, Shamrock Tap House. Shamrick, <laughs> who's Rick? And he's a sham. Anyway, terrible joke, I shouldn't have done that. Kate should get along quite well here. I wonder why, uh-oh. Have a minute? Got something Oh yeah, it. what? Of course. Anything you need. Anything I need, huh? I might take you up on that one day. After Tommy stuck me with you, I was expecting to hate your guts. Not only because you agreed to pick up me contract, but because I was waiting for you to order me around like hired help. Now so far, you've been treating me like a friend. Hell, you've been damn near nice to me. Now I don't mean to sound ungrateful, but your kindness is starting to make me wonder if there's anything I learned in the combat zone. It was that nobody does things for other people without expecting something in return. What exactly do you think I'm expecting in return? Who knows? Doing your laundry, taking a bullet for you, hauling your gear. What's the difference? I don't think I'm getting through to you. Let me explain what I mean, then maybe you'll understand where I'm coming from. I spent three years living at the combat zone. Smelled like puke and piss, but I called it home. I was making a few caps, had my own bed to sleep in, and three hot meals a day. Then the raiders took over the place. You know that lot. They aren't exactly what you'd call the gentle type. After they moved in, if you didn't keep looking over your shoulder, you were liable to get sucker punched or robbed. Or worse. Didn't take me long to learn that I had to put my hard-earned caps to good use. Buying friends was essential to making life easy. So, I guess I'm waiting for you to hand me a bill. You know what I mean? You don't owe me a thing. Now I'm having a real hard time believing that. I'll tell you what. Give me some time and I'll think of something I can do to repay you. I'm not a rich girl, but I'm sure we can agree on something. After all, what are friends for? 
You know, problem. Okay. We've got a battle in here. I'm sure of it. We've got to have one. Balls over here. A pint glass. Huh. You want to go to bed? Well, no, we're not going to do that. Not right now. Whoa! Found you! <laughs> Done already! I can do a lot of damage. Okay, all mine. You're lit. I'm going to put you in my pocket anyway. Oh! Well, what are you doing? <laughs> he was like, by the way, hi. Oh, there are more of them. Hold on, let me patch up. Okay, I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. It's going to happen, okay? Yep, yep, I got you. Oh, he's out for the count. Okay, I'm going to head up here now. Oh, I need to reload before I do that. Man, my handgun is really good. Oh, gaff. Oh, wow, you are a beefy man. Okay, we better watch out here. Hold on. I better equip a few of my weapons over here. Like that one. Oh, I forgot I have a shotgun, too. I have a few shells for it left. It does a lot of damage. I'm going to throw a grenade or, or a Molotov, I mean. Ha! Huh. I caught you on fire and broke your arm? Well, okay, then. I believe it. Okay, Gaff, you're actually kind of scary. I don't like you a lot. He's a pretty tough guy. Let me throw in another Molotov. Enjoy it. You deserve it. Oh, man, they're doing a lot of damage to me. What did they do to that poor guy over there? I have no idea. Okay, third-person combat. I don't often do it, but I'm going to do it right now. Kind of weird to gauge the shooting. Oh, man, my handgun's incredible. I destroyed him. All right, one more to go. Yeah, fighting in third person feels rather strange. I don't really want your equipment. Okay, looking good. What happened to you, pal? Man, savage. I'm going to take your food. I can cook with all of that later. Combat knife, I'll take it for fun. Poor guy. Okay. Loot up here, I'll take it. What's in here? Downstairs, okay. Do we have any more raiders here? We might not, they might all be dead. I mean, I killed Gaff. Gaff gave me quite a laugh. Poor rhyming, I know. I'm on a bad streak today. Not the type of streak that you want to be on. Blamco! Mac and cheese! What am I looking at? Huh. I can unlock that. Give me but a moment. There we go. I have it open now. Take all. I bet you did, girl. I bet you did. Okay. I'm gonna keep on looking. A lot of food around here. I don't need all of it. I don't need that crap. There's bound to be... Yeah, there we go. Stim packs are what I always need. Uh-oh. Wow, two of them. They really wanted me to die. Wait, what are they hiding in here? Now I've got to know. Yes. What do you have in here, huh? Chemistry station, okay. Drugs, you know, I feel- Oh my! Yeah, no kidding. I nearly died. Okay, give me your drugs. I'm going to take them all. Gwyneth Stout. Oh, frightening. Okay, flamingo. I don't know what you were doing with that. Is that a arrow? No, it's stick for it. Okay. Flamingos are in here. All right. Well, buff out. I want that for sure. Let's go pick it up and get out of here. Another door that's locked. Okay. Well, hold on. Hold on, then. That's it. No one in here, okay. Same room, I've been in here. I need that fan for screws, I need a lot more of them. A bottle cap. Alright, all mine. What about over here, a hot plate? I don't know why I picked that up, but I did. Duct tape, I always needed that, always. Oh, there's more to the location, okay. Right away, spatula, how important. Did I find it? I feel like I found it. Tap house key, oh, whoa, whoa! Hold on, what? Oh! When'd you get here? 
<laughs> you frightened me. All right, third person combat. Not a fan of it, but I'll give it a go. Got them all quickly. Didn't take long. All right, what do we have over here? Let me keep on looking before we're attacked again. All right, as I was looking, bullets for me, not a problem. All right, Patrick's terminal. What do we have in here? Experimentation, recipes, okay. Mr. West has run into a slight problem in that the hotel is contractually obligated to only serve Gwinnett beer, so I can't use my own recipes. Luckily, I know a guy who knows a guy who has cracked the encryption on their proprietary brewing holotapes. Neat. Delivery. Huh. That red light threw me off guard for a moment. Alright, well, we'll oh, go over here. Like yeah, I do. I do have a gizmo. Is that it? Really? Security's too I can't open that. I'll actually have to go grab Nick and come back here. Alright, I'll go grab Nick. I can't do it. I mean, we killed him, so we can just run right back in. Grab Nick won't be a big deal. I do love Nick. He's a good guy. Good, you know, kind of guy. Pretend guy. Fake guy. He's good. Alright then. I go back home. To one of my homes. I've got a lot of homes, by the way. I want all of them to move to my giant, massive city, but unfortunately, there's no way to make them move. I hope someone will mod that in to where they can, like, teleport there, because if they try to go over water, they'll drown. It's a shame you can't use a boat or something. I hate you, Mama Murphy. You I do. Visit. I, I almost thought you wouldn't. <laughs> hey, buddy. We'll talk later. Nick is usually in here. There's all my monkeys. Monkey. It's a monkey. My pool room. Keep on going up. My theater room. I'll have to stagger the chairs later. Nick, where are you? Finding Nick can be a pain. Alright. I could take some damage falling down. I'll be okay. Yeah! Okay. You're not Nick. Piper's in here somewhere. I keep hearing her around here, but I never know where she's actually at. I'll ring the bell. Yeah, that is what I'll do. I'll ring the bell. Bring him out. I love my backpack. Here's another tower location that I was building. I don't like the design very much, though. Not a huge fan of it. Alright, hold on. I'm going to build one right now. That is what I'll do. It should be... I don't even remember where it's at. Hold on. Defense is over here. No, it's on miscellaneous, I believe. Here we go. Yeah. Here we go. Ring a ding ding. Okay, they should all be coming out now. Hey, Kate. I'm gonna have you waiting for a moment. I'll go grab Nick. He's gonna hack it for me. I can't do it. Good lord, it knows I can't hack worth a damn. Most folks are just Whoa. Looking for a hand. What were all of you doing over there, huh? Do I don't know if I want to know. Need Ooh, strong. What were you doing with all of them? Marcy Long, Piper, and Settler. Shut up, Mama Murphy. Oh, hey, Nick. There you are. time to talk now. Is something the matter? You sound upset. What? Oh, no, no. We've just been traveling a while now, and I figure there hasn't exactly been equitable distribution of information. I've gotten a decent glimpse into your dirty laundry, but you still don't really know a whole heck of a lot about me. I uh, figure that offer to balance the board. So, is there anything you want to know? What's with the outfit? After I started the agency, it just seemed like the sort of thing a detective ought to wear. I got some old memories, pre-war. Faded to all heck of guys dressed like this, doing what I do. Putting on the hat and trench coat, I figured it let folks know I was serious about the whole thing. Clothes make the man and all that. Guess I felt they made me the man I wanted to be. What do you remember about the Institute? It's all pretty hazy from back then, but now and then I get glimpses. Life inside the Institute, they keep you isolated. A single test chamber was my whole world for years, and someone was always watching. Then one day, you wake up on the other side, and that's it. 
they've cut you loose. Welcome to the brave new world with such people in it. So, so who are you, Nick? That's a question I've been trying to figure out myself for a long damn time. I know I'm a synth, authentic institute handiwork, but I'm still mechanical, not bioengineered like the fancy synths giving everyone the willies these days. I get tune-ups now instead of checkups. But my memories, my personality, they're all lifted from some cop who volunteered for an experiment back before the war. They scanned his brain and copied it onto the hardware that runs between my ears. Don't know why they chose to make a robot based on some pre-war cop instead of a math genius or a bioengineer. Hey, maybe that's why the Institute tossed me in the garbage instead of turning me into one of their people snatchers. Wait, the original Nick was from my time? Sure was. Which meant when I finally ended up out here, it was quite the rude awakening. I remember waking up one day in a garbage heap, a body in tatters and a head full of memories belonging to a man who'd been dead for 200 years. Suffice to say, it was a confusing couple of weeks. Folks didn't really know much about synths back then, so when I finally ran into people, they mostly treated me with caution rather than hostility. But the kids, <laughs> they weren't afraid. I think his name was Jim. The first person to actually speak to me after I got the boot from the Institute. My first human contact in this world. Grilled me for an hour. <laughs> Once they'd seen I wasn't gonna hurt anyone, the other folks in the neighborhood came out to ogle the mechanical man. It eventually turned into a pretty swell soiree. The local mechanic even gave me a once-over, free of charge. Those people, they treated me like a human being. I've been trying to return the favor ever since. It's a surprisingly rare trait out here sometimes, and something I've noticed you got a fondness for. Part of the reason I've stuck around this long. Where's that town? We should go visit. I tried to go back and say thanks, once I'd gotten myself established. But the place was wiped off the map. Raiders. Don't know what happened to the people. If you're good to people, they'll be good back. That's something I've always believed. Couldn't agree more. Well, I expect you're about as bored as can be listening to me rattle my skeletons. You should probably head out. All right, buddy, come on. Nick, time to hit the road? Yep. Let's head out. Well, Let's head right. out. All right, Nicky. Watch yourself out there. Don't worry, Kate. I will. Oh, they get along. I could put them into a tinier location. That would make it a lot easier to find them. Okay, what about Nordhagen Beach? Not a bad location to be in. The Commonwealth can take a real toll. Okay, we're going back now. Shouldn't take me too long. Then we'll go turn it in. And we got to get to know him a little bit more. I like that a lot. He's definitely one of my favorite characters in the game. I like Kate, I like Piper, I like him. Preston? <laughs> I do not like that guy. He's got as much personality as cardboard. You look at it. That's what you get. Cardboard. Alright, we're gonna head back in. Don't worry, Nick. You won't need to kill. I've done that for you. Me and Kate. We did a damn good job, too. Look at that. Killing, that is. Alright, time to head on in again. Let me in. Knock, knock, knock. Anyone? Oh, right. No, no one home. No one at all home. Okay, Nicky boy, I know you can do it for me. Total. Wait, what? Cool! I'm glad I found that. Spotlight hacking source code. I'm very glad I found that. Cool. I mean, had I not gone back and then came back, I would not have found that. Nicky boy, get over here. Hey, do something for you? Yeah, I want you to go over here. And I want you to go hack that. I think you can unlock that terminal. Man, I'm glad you were able to do that. I wouldn't like the idea of being forced to, you know, go down a route to do things. I can barely see a thing. Alright, well while you do that wait, are you gonna do it? These old terminals can be real finicky. The aspect Yeah, go do it, come on. See what you can do. Good. Go. <laughs> Took you a moment. 
I can't wait for mod to make the AI even better. I'm gonna go look around real quick while he does that. He shouldn't follow me, but... Okay, yeah, 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 okay. He'll be doing that. I'm gonna make sure that I get all my loot that I wanted to get. Yeah, I guess I did. There's not really too much more here. Yeah, you don't really have too much, do you? You do not, no. A mini nuke. Oh, cool. Again, glad I came back. A mini nuke. I have another one now. That'll be great for whenever I use them all up in one battle. One crazy fight. Okay. What's on here now? Uh, activate. Okay, please don't kill me. Flashing operational subroutines, micro brewers, operational, internal bottling mechanism, operational, output dispensary, operational, detecting brewing subroutines, hollow tape detected for women, fail ale, start up sequence complete, dispensing sample for approval by technician how would you describe the testing sample provided mm. <sighs> cold and refreshing do you know how long it's been since i had cold beer very good i appear to be operating at an optimal level shall we commence delivery to the hotel rexford i could keep you i should keep him <laughs> I'm gonna keep them. Yeah, you're mine. Change your plans. I've decided to keep you myself. Understood. Are you ready to set the parameter? Oh, at this time. What do you mean by home? The default location where I will begin normal operation. Oh, can be reassigned after normal operation has begun. Are you ready to set the parameter? Heck yeah, I am. Oh, at this time. I've got my own micro brew. Oh, I love that. Good. Please select okay. the default oh, location. Could I put you at the... I, why can't I put you there? That bothers me so much because I want, I want you to cast more than any other location, but I cannot. Okay, you'll go over to Sanctuary, I suppose. Uh, might as well. Oh. Parameter accepted. Beginning transit. I'll probably find another location. You know, at a later point where I'm gonna make it my home base where I'll have all of my stuff in one easy to find location. That way when all my companions are there, they'll all be in one location. It'll be okay, I won't be bothered. That to me is probably a good idea. Okay. Let me go look at my mission. I suppose I can't complete it until I do that well fine I'll do it later but not right now okay well when we're back we'll do another mission and later I'll turn them in but not yet 